Zomato. Zomato? Potato? Potato? Let's just go with Zomato. India's largest online restaurant guide has been hacked, and the company has confirmed that 17 million of its accounts have been exposed. They are on sale on the dark web for $1,017. The stolen account information includes both email addresses and hashed passwords. What is a hashed password exactly? Hashing a password is basically transforming a password into a random sequence of characters. Now this process is absolutely irreversible. Now I don't know if you know this, but 25 of the most commonly used passwords look a little something like this. So what a hacker could do in the case of Zomato is actually compare the hashes of the passwords that we just saw on the list to the passwords of the stolen Zomato accounts and deduce users' passwords. Seems too easy. <laughs> and the problem is it seems like Zomato is actually downplaying the situation and saying that just because it's hashed it means that it's you know absolutely difficult to crack but I mean these days hackers are using more sophisticated methods like cloud computing which allows them to crack a 15 to 18 character password within a few hours. So basically there is no guarantee that your passwords will not eventually be cracked. Zomato stressed that the breach did not compromise any payment details of users as the financial information is stored on a different database and was not hacked. Well, that's good. So if you have an account on Zomato, I highly recommend that you change your password immediately. So we can't put the entire blame on Zomato because as users, we have the responsibility to be creating complex alphanumeric combinations for passwords and changing them regularly. But that's a difficult task to do. So one way would be to actually resort to a password manager, like enter shameless plug, MyKey. For more information, go to mykey.co. <laughs> this next story, is mind-blowing. When it comes to fighting off computer viruses and malware attacks, holy water is probably the last resort. But when all tech solutions have failed, a divine intervention is necessary. And that's what happened in Russia. The world has barely recovered from the recent WannaCry ransomware attack that hit up to 150 countries worldwide. Russia's top religious priest, the patriarch of the Russian Orthodox Church, has made an emergency trip to the Ministry of Interior Affairs. Why? It's a good question. To bless the computers with holy water to keep the ransomware away. Holy sh and while some are saying that it's an old photo, you cannot completely rule out the possibility of the patriarch making that trip. Who knows? Well... <laughs> In more useful ransomware news, Adrian Guinet, a French security researcher from Quark's lab, has actually found a way to retrieve the secret encryption keys used by the WannaCry ransomware through a tool called WannaKey. I like the name. It will actually unlock your files without you having to pay a ransom. Now, Guinea says that in order for this to work, your computer must not have been rebooted. He also claims that there's a lot of luck coming into play, so it doesn't always work in every single case. In more good news, another security researcher called Benjamin Delphi developed an easy-to-use tool which he named WannaKey We. I love these names. Wana Kiwi was created based on Guinea's findings and it actually simplifies the entire WannaCry infected file decryption. All victims have to do is actually download the Wana Kiwi 2 from GitHub and run it on Windows computers. I will actually be providing a link in the description below, so make sure to check it out if your computer is infected. Would you rather unlock your smartphone with a four digit pin like 2476 or an emoji pin like cat Sunset, birthday cake, yellow heart, pig, penguin, omelette, beer. A team of researchers have actually developed something called Emoji Auth, which is an emoji based authentication system that replaces passcodes. 53 participants on Android phones divided them into two. The first group of 27 people selected passcodes made up of 12 emojis, and the second group stuck to simply pin codes. Not so surprisingly, pin users remembered their passwords slightly more often than emoji passcode users. So they found that an emoji sequence of six or more emojis was actually harder to steal than a numerical sequence. I think we should just stick to fingerprint authentication and we're good. All right, you guys, that was all for this week's episode of the Mikey Security Report. For any comments, do so below. Make sure to subscribe, and I will see you soon.